Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Scorpio. I don't know Scorpios, you guys are my first ones for the bonus readings and honestly I wasn't planning on doing Scorpio first but as soon as I pressed record they said Scorpio. So here we go. Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. These are your timeless bonus reading. So that's the section if you want to purchase the extended that it's going to be in. You have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life and bottom of the deck is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. You want to know what's crazy is that Scorpios have that reputation of being very intense and obsessed, right? So there is a, a true love romantic factor here, but there's also this factor of being slightly addicted. And whether it's being slightly addicted to the connection or being slightly addicted to something else, right? There's this sense of, I always let something consume me. I, I, I'm always consumed. I'm drowning in it. Someone doesn't sip it, they drown in it. That's the point, okay? Whether this is for you, the Scorpio, or someone else. I always drown in it. It's, it's a kind of a vibe. It's extremely intense. The moon. we got this full moon right now in Pisces. So the moon card in tarot represents Pisces and it's a Pisces full moon. So you see how the wolves are howling to the moon? It's almost like uncontrollable, right? The moon, for some reason, is attractive to the wolves. Do you know what I mean? The moon is calling to the wolves and the wolves call back to the moon. It's like this yearning for each other. There's a yearning here. There's an attraction and a yearning. Now the moon is also very symbolic of cycles and phases, of endings, what hit, what's hidden. Um, the moon is what you don't see coming. It's a lot of secrecy here also maybe secrets of not revealing one's feelings right not re something is or, or the whole connection itself hasn't been revealed yet maybe it's you haven't met yet for some it's going to be a draw cancerian energy with the chariot something arrives suddenly with the knight of wands it's a sudden arrival. It also has a lot of lust behind it, with the Knight of Wands, very lusty sexual energy. Um, it's like it arrives on your doorstep. And I don't know if for some of you that's literal or if that's sort of just the analogy that they want to use, but it, like it arrives at your doorstep. Like it, it comes to you. There's a sense of watching. You see how this person's carrying that stack of, of wands, but yet they're looking. So there could be the sense of someone who's trying to do something and still looking. Maybe they saw you or something happens when they're working. So while they're working and busy doing something, that's when you catch their eye. There's a sense of catching someone's eye. It's sudden and impulsively. It's just, I can't stop looking now. And then the Knight of Pentacles is obviously a, a, an offer. It's the slowest energy in the entire deck, right? So there is this slow offer. I don't know how else to put it. Sorry, hold on. It's a Five of Wands. Five of Wands here. Chaos. All the cards come falling down. That's what I heard. Everything crumbles. This could be very tower-like energy, right? Everything crumbles. It all comes crashing. Seven of Pentacles. Waiting. Dreaming. Look, waiting, dreaming. Daydreaming. Pining, yearning. Three of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Waiting for the offer. Waiting for this 
life-changing moment. The Ace of Pentacles can be moving. It can be career career change. It could be a long-term committed offer. But it's like someone is has been. It's it's something that they've been waiting for. Do you know what I mean? I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for this. But it's also this like watching it and like yearning and like dreaming and like obsessing and can't stop thinking about it and and, and I'm distracted and and it feels like it wasn't something that someone was looking for it just happened nine of wands wounded warrior someone's very on guard who sent you why are you here what do you want and it's like it could be a friendship thing so because of the fact that it's sort of like someone's guard is really way up they it's a friend zone thing for some of you because of a trust thing that's this whole factor here is like i don't trust myself because when i really like something i consume it until it drowns me judgment and the two of swords someone here is bad judgment <laughs> see the two of swords look they're blinded y'all yeah? <laughs> they have really bad judgment what does that mean they just get so consumed. They become so obsessed with something here. It's like, it's like, for some of you, it also could be something that you thought wasn't going to happen. And then it, and then it does. I'm just thinking, well, how, what is your extended going to be like? The magician. Manifestation. Power. Magic. This feels magical. This feels out of my control. Did you put a spell on me? Why, why am I nonstop thinking about you? I didn't put a spell on you. I am the spell. Someone here is enchanted. Someone here is mesmerized. Someone here cannot stop thinking about you. They can't stop looking at you. They're obsessed and not in an unrequited stalker way. If you're in an unrequited stalker type of situation here, please stop that because it's low vibrational. Your person is out there, but how are you gonna find your person by still consuming or, or, or having all your attention go towards something that's not for you? This is not unrequited even if it seems that way at first, right? If someone tells you, I'm not into it, leave me alone, leave them alone. But this here is, it feels magical. It feels like there's, it's, 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 I, I'm powerless against it. It feels like, did you put a spell on me? Why do I feel this way? I can't stop thinking about you. And it's like, no, I didn't put a spell on you. I am the spell. So there's this enchantment of this. All right, let's get to your extended. Again, to purchase it, it's going to be in the bonus timeless reading section. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And I'll see you guys in your extended. Love you.